I'm outside Darren's place. I'm just kind of hanging out, waiting. I think the most stressful part for me is getting to locations. If I can just show up, everything else will take care of itself. Traffic is insane. It's like 1.15 and this is Hollywood Island and uh, look at this. Just insane. Like driving in LA is literally like a video game. You have to just avoid obstacles and just adds to your stress level. The road trip has officially started I'm with Darren Carter. Yes. So you know the camera higher so at least it looks like I have hair? Maybe not. I don't know. Uh, so, the show tonight's at 8 o'clock. Yes. And uh, Darren insists that we leave. We left at 11 o'clock. traffic. And this is good. Now uh, we're, we're beating traffic. We're making good time. And, making good time. Uh, Darren brings me so we can use the carpool lane essentially. That's right. Oh shit, we gotta go over there. I call him Di Diamond Tarun. Darren, what can we expect for tonight's show? I've never done this club, so thank you for bringing me. Oh man, well we'll see. Uh, by the way, that's the, I hate that question when the radio DJ says it. Darren, <laughs> so what can we expect tonight? <laughs> well, let me let me tell you this. This yeah. is like we're gonna be at the hub of Claremont, which is it sounds like a it's not it's nothing like it's sister city Montclair. There's Montclair and Claremont. It's great if you're dyslexic. Um, where we're going is like this really hip happening and like all I can describe is, the, is like a hub. It's like a really cool place, like this street that we're going to be on. And all kinds of shops and people and sometimes there's outdoor musicians and where we're going is... Not there. Not there. <laughs> yeah. We're going so We're going 10 miles east of yeah, we're not going, But that's a good landmark so people know, okay, this is where the, the cool stuff is. Darren, you must have done so many road trips in Man, your career. So many road trips, and, it, and it's great because you get to really see like the country and get out there. And Do you like pitch, pick up like a hitchhiker or anything like that? I mean, besides you right now. <laughs> yeah. No, I've never picked up a hitchhiker, but I was picked up before. The first time I ever did the road when I was twenty one or twenty two. You hitchhiked the gigs? No, no, my car broke down in the middle of. Um, I want to say Washington State. I've been walking to the, to the nearest town. I probably walked about three or four miles. And I was like, man, and this car pulled over. And the guy was like, I was like, hey, do you need a ride? And of course, you know, you're, you're a little bit on guard. You're like, uh, yeah, please. And he goes, get in the back seat. And it's like, Larry the Cable Guy. <laughs> get her done. No, no I, I, got, I got in the back seat and, and I... Uh, Turn right on North Santa Anita Avenue. I felt a little relieved that there was a wheelchair back there. I was like, oh, this guy's, you know, he's really just a good citizen. He's not trying to, like... He's killing people who are disabled. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, but I thought, worst case scenario, I could probably outrun the guy or something. Not to, you know, not to be mean, but you know what I mean. Like, and that like, was mean. Yeah, that was mean. <laughs> but that's what I thought. I mean, what would you think? If you're, you know what I mean? Like, somebody pulls you over, and they're like, hey, you need a ride? And you really do need a ride. Was it Josh Blue? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, so yeah, that was the road. We got to the gig early, so we hung out at the Barnes and Nobles. It was relaxing being around all these books, knowing full well that Amazon's gonna one day take over everything, and booksellers will be replaced by robots. I've become such a bad reader. I now use bookmarks to remember where I gave up in the book. Oh yeah, page two, Crime and Punishment. It's gotten bad. This is what we do, right? Get a bunch of books, we're gonna get pumped up. Just end up looking at our phones. <laughs> About to blow up, man. How'd you make it from a YouTube book? For YouTube for dummies. Oh, here's one they forgot. Comedy clubs have great energy Friday nights. Darren sold out every show. I was excited to open for him. Uh, as I've gotten older, I've just kind of lowered my expectations. I've become more realistic. You know? I remember when I got to LA, I had like a vision board. <laughs> and now I have like a dry erase board. <laughs> you know? It's like, Ferrari, french fries. <laughs> yeah, I can achieve this. Well, that's it, man. Another great night of comedy, huh? Hey, uh, thanks for joining me there. Appreciate it. Dude, that's what comedy is. It's like two pals hanging out, having a good time, having some laughs, buying some shoes, 
drinking some coffee, eating some cookies, I go doing Thank some you. shows. Same. Goodbye. See, I just had some coffee, so I'm like, yeah, I want to do more Connie. I'm gonna do hey, more that's fucking my camera, stuff. Dude, no. <laughs>